Hi, hello, good morning everyone. Thank you for coming to join me. Um, I feel I'm in a state of chaos at the moment. I've just finished doing the journal, um, the tall thin journal with Everlasting Journals papers. Um, and I've been trying to clear my desk. And of course, you always get carried away and sidetracked when you do something like that. So I thought I would turn the camera on and just show you what I'm doing and maybe do a little craft with me or you can craft along with me. I just want to play with what I've got left on my desk. So sorting things out, um, I found a pocket that I'd started just on some um, brown paper. So I kind of put that to one side because that needs finishing or something. And then I've just been playing with bits of paper. So I've made a, a tag and I've made a few pockets out of leftover bits of envelopes. So they that would go, um, I could do with a, let me just get, so I've been folding some of Rachel's papers because my plan is to make a couple of um, journals using uh, Roxy Creations papers. Obviously it wouldn't go on this, but it kind of would fit, it would fit honest on two pages. So it'd be a tuck spot there and it would be a tuck spot there but it would need to be a plainer piece of paper. So that's kind of what I've been just messing about doing, just trying to use bits and scraps of paper that I've got left over. So I did three of those. Um, I also found this frame, and I think it might be a Tim Holtz one, and I'm planning to use the um, Bourbon Rose kit from um, Amy at Crafty Cat. So I've just done that, and I think... It's I think it's going to be a pocket in that journal. Um, that's what I think. So that's going to go. I've got a few bits and pieces that I've been making for that journal. I'm just trying to shove it in the box. So I'm trying to be organised, but not succeeding. So I just thought, let's have a look at what I'm making and you can get as confused as I am. So. I found um, one of Rachel's letters that I'd printed out and I was just faffing around and I think I think I'm going to attach this paper to it so I think that's just where I'm going to start and let's just let's just see I wanted to make this a little bit smaller not a lot just a bit so I'm going to take a bit off the top and the bottom I don't know why I want to make it smaller it's just the way I feel okay and I think that I am going to, which way do I want to do it? I don't know. I think I want to do it that way. That's a bit of a decision made, isn't it? Not a lot of one. So I do like um, clearing my desk after a project. But it doesn't always, I always get carried away then because I see things and think, oh, I'd forgotten about that. No, I could just use and what about and what if. So I'm going to put that on there. It was what one that I'd printed wrong. I tried to print both sides of a letter of one of Rachel's letters. But when I printed the back side of it, my printer started printing and then it sucked it through and didn't want to print the rest. Isn't that annoying when it does that? So that was what it did to me. Very annoying. Lost my glue. Um, so I thought, well, I'm not going to waste it. So I've cut it into three. And that was part of it that I made that tag with. I think sometimes I get fed up with, you know, try, not wait. I don't waste paper. That's not what I mean. But trying to try not to waste paper, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm not making any sense today. So again, this is one of the videos I'm videoing ahead with. So you're when you when you get this, I'm in France. Well, I'm in Europe. Um, so I'm just trying to get ahead, and it's actually my birthday. So I can hear you all singing "Happy Birthday, Carol." Thank you. <laughs> yeah, sixty-three and acting like a ten-year-old sometimes. I tell you, sixty-three. Where does time go? Where does your life go? One minute you're bringing your kids up and the next minute you're not. They're all grown up. Now I'm thinking that I like that on there. 
that's what I'm thinking. Can you see it? Um, it might need something else up there. I don't know if I've got... I need to um, cut some more labels out. I know that. I might put that on there, actually. How's that? That must be the quickest decision Carol has ever made. I hope you're all impressed. Obviously, in my mature years, I'm starting to get more organised. Not. Tell you what, this trip to France is driving me around the twist. There are so many things that we've got to think about and have we done and do we need to do and, and it, <laughs> really, you wouldn't believe it. I'm not, I don't think, I, I am looking forward to it. I don't mean I'm not looking forward to it, but I am a little bit anxious about it. Only because hubby is has set his heart on it being the trip of a lifetime. Do you know what I mean? Is things that he wants to see and places he wants to go and oh, won't it be good when we just... And I'm just thinking, yeah, it will be, but I don't speak French, Italian, Spanish. So whichever country we go to, I, I say I don't speak French. I can speak um, school, 1960s schoolgirl French. <laughs> Have vu <laughs> but I give it a good go because he always leaves me to do the talking. So we give it a good try. The the funniest thing was he he went in a post office last time we went. He went in a post office and said, "Do you sell stamps?" <laughs> and that oh dear, we that that was the highlight of the holiday for us. I tell you. We did we did giggle at ourselves. <laughs> so did the lady in the post office. Right, I think what I want to do is I want to make that as a flip. And that might be a pocket on the back. So I think that might be quite nice. And I think I've glued it down well enough not to need to stitch round it. I think. So I'm just trying, trying to get ahead so that I've printed out a lot of Rachel's papers and I'm going to try and put some journals together when I get back from holiday. Now that is going to be a pocket. I'm just thinking I will need to reinforce that a bit because it's not that strong. Because this is just copy paper. So it's not... It's not really, it's strong enough to make a pocket out of, but just where you put things in and out. I do just want to add that little bit of strength. And my husband has cleaned my scissors for me today. He is a little angel. Because these are my glue scissors. So anything that I glue, I cut with these scissors. So they get very gluey. So that is going to be a, a flip out with a tuck. So, you know, that could go in, in there. So I hope that kind of makes sense because I was just nattering away to you and not explaining anything that I was doing. But I am going to put a notch in here. that'll do so that I remember that it's a flip with a pocket so that can go there that's done what else have we got I've got this and it says hangover page so I think I must have previously <laughs> bottom pocket see I've given myself notes no idea what I was thinking at the time though that's the that is the trouble and that would be too long on the page. So what I would need to do is put a different fold in here so that it would hang over a page. And that would then be long enough or not too long is what I mean. 
And so I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm not worried that it's got that original fold just there. I don't like that it's not glued there though, look. Because this is going to be backed with something else. So that, that honestly, that does not matter. We've got the caterpillar trail of children going past the house, if you hear them. I love it when they do. It's the children from the school and they just trot past all holding hands they go up to the up to the swim, swimming baths up to the leisure center i'm just looking i've got this left over from that kit i've just used everlasting journals um so i think i'm going to use that yeah they all they all trot past holding hands with the teacher with them and so cute but the chatter they just chatter all the way and it comes over it's a bit like the dawn chorus you know you hear it in the background and it comes towards you and then it just goes as the birds move on somewhere else. So I'm going to put that on there. And I'm thinking that actually gives me the right length then, doesn't it? It does. So I am going to stick that on there. I'm going to cut it. Or I'm going to tear it so that it's just that bit bigger. This is going to be a faffy video, by the way, only because, you know, why not? Chuck that on the floor. So I'm going to put the glue on. I'm going to put the glue on this bit and then I'm going to stick it on the back. And then that's the back sorted. And this may get stitched all around. but I'm not going to do any stitching today. It's easier if I just put everything in a pile that I might need stitching. I'm going to line that edge up because I know that was pretty well. Pretty well straight. Glue that on. Icky sticky and then I'm going to cut this bit off. could fold it in but that will just make it too bulky because I'm going to put some thin paper on the inside as well so I don't want it to get overly sticky I mean, overly sticky overly overly thick and I could turn that up to be a pocket on the inside and I think that I will I know it's not a very big pocket that I've turned up but that that's OK, because we can add paper to it and make it that little bit bigger. So that's not a problem. So the front. Let me just make sure it's still is big enough to hang over or not too big to hang over. No, and she doesn't she doesn't reach the bottom, so that's OK. There we go. And then I think that I want to put something in the window and then I'm just going to cover the inside. Um, what would I like to cover the window or to put inside the window? Um, again, my printer, it, it I, I bought some new paper and it doesn't seem to like it. It seems to print half of it and then just stop. So I think I'm going to, the kids are going to have to have this paper. Um, I'm just thinking, this is from the Everlasting Papers as well. I'm just thinking if I could fit some of that little boy in there because he's not all printed and just get the nose of his dog in there. Would that look odd? Can you see it? I actually think that might look quite nice. So that is what I'm going to do. I am going to do that. 
And yes, that might be a little bit odd. They, there we go. Keep those bits. So I'm going to put glue around my window. And then I'm going to try and line this up so that I get a little bit of the boy. Oopsie. Just a little bit of that dog. So I've got the dog's eye and I've got the boy and they're just both peeking through that little window. A little bit different, isn't it? Okay. Okay, okay. And then I'm going to want to just collage on there. And I'm just going to I am just going to, I'm just going to call it, there's going, I think I might put a piece of fabric over the top. So I'm not going to unduly worry about that. And I want to get that little word there. It says rivals. And I think I want to see if I can get that on there. Why not? So I'm going to put a piece of fabric over the top there just to reinforce the fold. And it, it does hang. These do hang nicely over the page without you needing to paper clip them. They seem to have a little bit of weight to them. There we go. At this race, I'm not going to get much done, am I? But I'm not going to worry about that. Um, I need my bits box, don't I? I've got a box of bits somewhere. One minute while I find it. And I can't find it. <laughs> I've tied it up that well. I can't find my box of bits. Isn't it ridiculous sometimes? I tell you. Never mind. I'll just use what I can find. Just rip this down. Useless at ripping sometimes, honestly. don't want the white bits on it do I and I might put the straight edge on there because just because I, I don't want to lose that little boy's face and that could just fit there okay that'll do it'll fit I would normally put the torn edge against the window, but I just I just don't want to lose that little boy. Oops. Seeing he's being cheeky, peeking through that little window. There we go. I'm just going to snip that off so I can see what I'm doing. Oops, sorry, banged my glasses on you. It looks like my blade's a bit blunt as well. Oh dear. It looks like I 
can trim that side off as well. These aren't quick things to do, are they? But I do think that they look good when you have done them. So I think that they are worth it. I don't think I like that now I've torn it. Um, do I want some blue letter? No, I don't think I do. I'm being indecisive, folks. One minute. Okay, sorry, I thought I'd put my camera on. I am bad, aren't I? I obviously didn't press the button hard enough. Have I switched you on now? I have. Okay, so I think that I'm just going to put this flower on there. So in the in the interest of using up snips and snips and bits, yeah, I'm just going to tear that out, and I am going to put that on there. I can find a a non-sticky bit. There we go. Sorry, I've gone very quiet then, haven't I? So that would hang over a page. So that's what you would see, but it would need to go on a plain page. And I might put some labels or something on. I don't know until I know what book it's going into. And then we've got the inside. I need some plainish paper, don't I? I'll let me find my plain papers. One minute. OK, I'm back with you. Sorry about that. Somebody knocked at the door as well. Isn't it always the same? So I think that I'm going to put that there and I'm just going to overlap it slightly because it's going to be hidden under the pocket. So I'm going to glue it over the fold just so that it's you're not looking at the, the inside of the envelope from the inside, if that makes sense. So I'm just going to glue that and put it on. So as I said, these do take a while to do. Um, collaging is never the quickest thing, you know. But journal making—it's not—it's not a quick thing, is it? I don't find it very quick anyway. And I might need to trim the edges of this envelope when I've done, but that's absolutely fine. I don't mind doing that. And then that's going to be a pocket, which I do need to extend. And I think I am going to use this. That's OK there. So how deep would I want a pocket? I think I might fold it on there. Straight. I might fold it straight on there. And I'm going to tear that bit off. And then that is going to glue over those. I'm going to make the inside of that pocket just that little bit smaller because it doesn't need to be quite so deep. So I'm going to glue that one on there first. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to put glue on here. Making sure that I am gluing the bottom. I don't want that coming up. I'm just going to glue that on. Get my glue everywhere. And then on the inside, I'm going to glue that down. But I'm wondering now I'm going to, I am going to stitch round it so I can just glue this 
on and it'll be fine. Trying to look for my ruler. Sorry, folks, I'm not even looking if I'm on, if I'm with you on the screen. Let's just cut that off there. Chuck it on the floor. That little lady that comes and cleans after me, uh, me, is going to have a load of papers on the floor. So that is going to be that pocket there. And when it's dry, I might cut a slot or I might not. And then this one, I think I am going to do it so that I've got this. That's where the crease is. So I'm going to do that, glue it up to that line. Oh, that works really nicely. I'm going to rip that off. And it's a wonky donkey. I can cut that off the bottom, can't I? Yep. And I'll just glue this on. Oh, and it looks like my glue's running out as well. I think I've got another one somewhere. I need to go and get some more. Isn't it amazing how much of this glue you use? I think I might be a bit heavy handed as well, but I do like to make sure it's not going anywhere. So I want to put that up to that line. <laughs> Move you little monkey. Got it. Got you. But I am going to stitch around this without doubt. So I'm going to cut that bottom bit off. And then get my bigger ruler. I'm going to cut that down. Because obviously we don't want to see the bits of the envelope that I've not managed to, to cover, do we? Oh, bits of paper sticking to everything. Oh dear. I'm not going to stitch around that, I said, it, um, and especially not whilst it's still wet. But I like that. So that is going to hang over a page. So you're going to see that on one side. And then when you turn the page over, you're going to see that. I do need to trim it again there, look. I need a new blade. And then on the inside, there's going to be a pocket just there. So I'll put, I, may, I might put another pocket a little bit higher up and make it a double pocket but I would use different paper so something across here so that I've got two pockets and then on this side I might put something I don't know I might put a side tuck or a corner tuck on there so I like that but I'm going to let that dry before I do anything more with it leave it open to dry so it doesn't stick to anything okay that took me ages, 29 minutes. Wow. Let me just move the things that I've made out the way because they're getting cluttered. So I've got some more of these envelopes. So shall we try and cover one of these? And let's see where we get to. Um, let me just find some paper that would be nice on here. One moment. Okay, I think that I'm going to use... I think I'm going to use this, but what I'm thinking is, what am I thinking? Do I want, I think I want to keep that as a bit of a flap on the back. I don't know what I'm thinking, folks. 
if I was to do that, if it was to be a corner one, that would have to be the corner that it fit on. So that would have to be cut. Okay, let, I don't know if this is going to work. And I won't know, and you won't know unless you try it, Carol. So let's try it. So I'm opening that envelope up because what I'm thinking is that's the bit that will fit up on the envelope. So I am going to. I'm going to cover that with that. So I'm going to put that on there. Yep. Okay. Sorry, you're kind of watching my mind work at the moment. Let me get rid of that glue. You're kind of watching my mind ticking. And I don't know if this is going to work or not. There's only one way to find out, isn't there? I'm going to put some glue on the edges because I want it to be stuck well and proper. It's probably upside down now, but that is stuck on there. OK, so that's still the envelope. OK, and I am going to give myself a little bit of an edge around the envelope to work with. OK, so that's still the envelope. Yep. going to cut that bit and that bit because this is going to be the side of the envelope that's open so I'm going to glue that down glue that in and then this is the bit that is going to be the tuck so that is going to fold in there so I'm going to cut a little bit off there and then this bit is going to fold up there. So I'm going to take a little bit out of there. So that's going to be the tuck. Yeah, I might need to trim it at the top, that's okay. So I can glue this bit down like that and like that. Okay. And I am going to glue this bit as well. I was thinking of cutting it off, but I'm actually just going to glue it down. Okay. Oh, that's a nice piece. That would make a lovely little tag, wouldn't it? So that is going to fit on a journal page like, like that. So this one will have a tuck there and that's going to be a pocket just there. Just need wiggling into place. So then I just need to cover this bit here. And I think what I want to use. I don't want that bit on.
so I'm going to cut this bit off. Sorry, folks, it's um, it must be painful sometimes to watch me. <laughs> I'm going to cut it a bit taller than I need it. And I think I want that flowery bit. And so I'm going to cut it there. I'm going to fold a little crease because I don't want to lose this bit of pocket here. So I think I'm going to put that on there. So I'm going to put my glue. So note to self, do not close. Oops. Do not close this pocket. That would not be good. Overhanging slightly there, haven't I? And just take that little bit off. That's okay. And then that I want to fold just ever so slightly there. And I'm going to turn this little bit in. Train going past. Actually, the train track isn't that close. That was just a very noisy train. Do you know what? That's too fiddly to try and cut off. To try and fold, I mean. So it's going to get cut off. I think I'm making a bit of a pig's ear of this one. As they say. And I'm going to glue this. This has worked well. Bob's your uncle. And Fanny's your aunt, as they say. I think that's an English saying. Let's put that there. Okay. Then I'm going to trim that down because it's too high. Let's just level that up. So I've still got a pocket there that's going to fit on. I'm going to close this bit. Because that's a tuck spot there, isn't it? I should probably have put a little snip in there before I glued it. Quick, quick, quick. I think I've got it. I think it worked. It may have been a bit complicated to get there, but I think it works. So, piece of paper to show how it works. Let's see if it does. So, if this was my journal page, that would go on there. It sticks out a bit there. I think I need to fiddle with it, but that would be on there. So, you'd have a tuck spot just there, and on the other page, you've got a tuck spot there as well. And they just need decorating. But I think I just need to fold that bit over that bit more. That's where it's wrong. And then that should fit. Fiddle did he. Yeah. There we go, look, that just needed folding over more. So we've got a tuck there and a pocket there, and then we've got a pocket that side as well, and then that just needs decorating. So I'm pleased with that one as well. So I haven't got very far, have I? But it's a start. So I'm going to add some fabric on the top of this so that it hangs. 
and then I'm going to stitch all the way around. I'm, I'm going to look for some different paper that I can put in here. That's not big enough. That would be. So I could put that there and have a pocket and a pocket there. Brilliant. So sorry it's been a bit disjointed, but it is what it is. And I'm here and I'm crafting with you. So I hope these were useful and I will see you all later. Take care, folks. Bye.